Hey everyone, this is uh, Bo from CG Scapes, and I just wanted to show you how you can apply multi UDIM texture maps to your assets that you purchased in Unreal Engine. I just want to walk you through the process so you understand how it all works and what you need to enable to be able to see everything clearly. So here we are in a new project, brand new project, just opened a third person project file and everything is at the default, right? So the first thing we want to do <clears throat> is we want to go to the top and we want to enable a couple of things. So let's go to edit the very top project settings right here in the search bar we want to type in virtual and then we want to scroll down just a little bit here and enable virtual texture support so we enable that you know we'll have the multi UDIM uh, option available so you're gonna to have to restart but before we do that Let's just enable uh, a few other things. So ray tracing and, you know, support hardware ray tracing as well. And I'll just turn those on. And um, should be ready to go. And under the plugins I'm not sure I really need it for this tutorial but I just want to enable the HDRI um, backdrop so all right so once you're back after you uh, had lunch or whatever dinner breakfast got some tacos whatever you're into then what we want to do we want to hit control spacebar and under the content folder you know we just want to create a new folder and we're going to call this canyon a if i can spell okay cool so under the the main folder you know we obviously need a couple things so Let's create, if you right click, you can just create a folder. Um, let's do models. Okay. Right click again, new folder. We'll do textures. Just try to keep everything organized. A uh, new folder, we'll do materials. And, um, I think that should do it. So now we want to import a model. So you hit import right here. You know, this box will pop up here. And what we want for this, we do not want. In this case, I don't want to import the LODs even though they're available. I'm just going to show you the UDIM format. We definitely want to convert the scene and we do not want to search or import any textures and we do not want to create a material from this mesh. So make sure those options are turned off. And then when you hit import, So once we've imported the model, before we do anything with the actual model, we want to import the image sequence for the textures. So once again, from models to textures, we'll go to import. So we'll go to import.
and we'll find the multi UDIM texture maps. And just so I can, you know, show you all what this looks like. Um, so you're going to see something like this with a bunch of maps. And so we just, the sequence is just like a, a Mori sequence. So it's 1001, 1002, et cetera, right? Just click on the first one and it will automatically update as needed. And there you go. You can see they're all connected. So once you have all the textures imported, <clears throat> what you want to do next is create a material, right, for these textures to plug into. So under the materials, we'll just right click and we'll say material right here. So we'll click on that for a new material. So after that, you'll get a new material. What you want to do is right click to uh, rename that material, obviously, to whatever you're using it for. In this case, I labeled this as A. So let's do that. So now, once you have all the textures, what you want to do in the material editor is double click and it'll open this box here. So now we just need to connect the maps. So while this is open, let's see if we can make some room here. And control A, and then if you go to the actual textures, um, the multi udim textures, right? You just want to drag these out into this window. Basically just as simple as that. And for the roughness map, if you double click on that, you'll see right here that I have our sRGB checked off. So you just want to make sure that's checked off for the roughness map. And I did it for basically, uh, I also did it for the specular map. So now <clears throat> we just take this and we plug these into their appropriate slot so just gonna take that to the normal and then this to the roughness channel and then to the specular channel and then there we go there's obviously a lot more you can do you know with uh, material editor i'll show you some other fun techniques but this is the basic setup so let's now apply this material to our imported object after we've connected everything. So you want to apply and save. Now that we have our new material created, all we have to do is go to the model, model section. We'll double click on this, right? And right here, you have the material slot. If you hit control space again, scroll down to your material that we just created. So there it is, the Canyon A material, right? So we're just going to drag and drop that right here. And there you go. If you Right now, this thing is so large, so if you press F, you can kind of see what's going on there. It's pretty, pretty huge. So, yeah, if you want to enable Nanite support, you can right here. And then you can just duplicate these everywhere and just make this crazy endless landscape. Or you can also use the LODs here. and you can import the different LODs as needed. So if this was LOD zero, you know, you want to import LOD one, two, three, four, five, etc. So yeah, once you do that, you'll have uh, the option to import your LODs right there, which is no 
problem at all unless you're using nanite of course so also if you plan on using the path tracer with this particular model what you can do is scroll down to use full precision uvs and then just make sure that you check that and then you'll get the highest quality from the actual uh, texture maps it'll go to 32 bit rather than 16 so that's just a quick thing that you may need to check on if you're using the path tracer now if we save this we can just drag and drop the model out into our scene and everything will be updated Okay, so now that we've saved that, we're gonna hit control spacebar again. Obviously, and under our models, we've done all this work to get it ready to just drag and drop in our scene right now using Lumen. So you'll see when I drag it out here, here we are. So let's turn on, let's go from lit to path tracing. And then you'll see it looks cool, but it's definitely a lot heavier. So there you go. All right. And you can fly around our new world here that we made really quick. Oops. So this is another thing I wanted to mention is that we have a new collection coming out on the 26th of November. So if you decide to purchase the first kit before that, we'll send you the new biome kit for free via email. And after the 26th, it's just gonna go up on the site as another package or another collection. So definitely check that out. And uh, I can't wait to see what you all create with this stuff. It's really exciting. It's a lot of fun to work on and uh hope y'all have a wonderful morning afternoon evening wherever you are and uh, stay tuned for more videos thank you